Sonic, the heart of your system. Hi guys, Bowman's here from Kit Guru. In today's YouTube video, I'll be showing you guys the new MSI Clutch GM50 gaming mouse. The Clutch GM50 gaming mouse was designed to be lightweight, comfortable, and very responsive, giving gamers of today speedier mouse movements whilst playing FPS games. The mouse has multiple software options for LED customization, on mouse hotkey combinations, and the ability to adjust preset DPI to your preferred settings. It has a precise optical sensor with DPI that can go up to 7200 with 100 DPI steps, making it feel like you have a lot more control whilst you're in game. Unboxing the GM50, the packaging displays the product clearly at the front and at the rear it has a mouse specifications, system requirements and a quick breakdown of what the mouse generally has to offer. The design of this box is nice as when you open the front panel it shows you a sneak preview of the mouse too. It also goes into a little bit more detail here on the features that the mouse actually has. As we open up the packaging, the product itself is nicely protected and secured firmly in place by the plastic cover. The contents of the box includes the GM50 gaming mouse and the information leaflet. It has a metallic shine to its sleek black design and is unfortunately only available in this colour, which is definitely a shame as not all gamers want to have black peripherals as their only product colour option. Bearing in mind that this is a budget mouse, coming in at an MSRP of $49.99. However, I do feel that MSI could have really gone that extra mile and provided at least one alternative colour option. The grip areas of the mouse have a dragon scale anti-slip texture to them, making it easy to hold the mouse firmly in place whilst using. The GM50's cable is a 2 meter soft, tangle-free hermoplastic elastomer cable with a USB 2.0 gold-plated connector. It has a great and flexible feel to it and has more than enough length for use. The MSI Clutch GM50 gaming mouse has a very lightweight body, only weighing at 87 grams without the cable. The fact that this mouse is so lightweight, it definitely helped with performing fluid movements across the mouse pad, which is definitely a must whilst playing games, especially the FPS style of games, as you don't want your mouse to snag or be too heavy to manoeuvre and disrupt your whole experience during gameplay. The dimensions of this mouse are 120mm in length, 67mm in width and 42mm in height, so it's quite a fairly small mouse. It also has the ergonomics design, meaning that it is only available to right-handed gamers only. Due to the mouse being small in dimensions, I found it really comfortable to use and have my hand rested on it for long periods of time. The mouse feels more like a palm grip mouse, however it definitely can be used to how best fits you. And it didn't feel at any point like I was overstretching any of my fingers to reach the different parts of the mouse itself. As well as all this, the mouse has six programmable buttons, two at the left hand side of the mouse, another when you press down the scroll wheel, a DPI switch, and finally the left and right mouse buttons. These button types are Omron switches, which have been rated for 20 million clicks. The Omron switches and the primary buttons are light and have a quick bounce back when pressed. They also have a very minimal pre-travel, making it quick and easy for the switch to actuate. In a gaming mouse, the least amount of pre-travel possible for primary clicks makes for a more desired feature, and the scroll wheel provides a precise and distinctive feel to its steps, even when scrolling quickly. The one thing that I did notice when pressing these buttons was that they are a little bit on the noisy side. The mouse is compatible with two types of software, one being the MSI Gaming Center and the other being the Mystic Light software. You can even control the lighting effects of your MSI products with the Mystic Light app on your mobile. These LED zones are the scroll wheel, the MSI Dragon logo, and finally the U shape at the rear of the mouse. So now that I've shown you guys what the mouse has, what it looks like, and generally all that side of things, I want to show you guys on how to use the software, just so you get the most out of your customization and generally just your whole experience when using the mouse. You can download both the MSI Gaming Center and the Mystic Light app at MSI's website. You will need to find the GM50's product page listed under products, gaming gear, and then mice. 
Once the Clutch Series GM50 mouse has been selected, you will find the support tab to the right hand side of the web page. Once here, you will want to select your operating system and then download the software. Once installed, you will see your new peripheral listed. Firstly, I will show you MSI's Gaming Center. Here is where you can change the on-the-fly mouse hotkey combinations. This will enable you to set certain patterns of mice clicks to have multimedia, macro, or even different mouse button options. This can be set to your own personal preference, or if you choose to, you can actually disable this option. You even have the ability to change the DPI button to either increase when pressed or decrease when pressed and can change the GM50's polling rate from either 125 Hz, in which the mouse communicates its position to the computer every 8 milliseconds, 250 Hz communicating every 4 milliseconds, 500 Hz communicating every 2 seconds, or 1000 Hz, in which communicates back to the PC every 1 millisecond. Finally, this is where you will be changing the full customization of your RGB LED mouse zones. You can choose the light and effects here and have the preset color choices, or choose your own color entirely. With the GM50, you can change the brightness of the RGB zones and the speed in which you want the effects to change. You can even change the direction in which you want these lights to go. During all this customization, you are able to have three different profiles for the GM50, so depending on your mood and the games you may play, you can actually switch it up. Now moving on to the Mystic Light software. This is a minimalistic version of the MSI Gaming Center and is dedicated only to the RGB LED benefits of the mouse. You can change the lighting effects, the brightness of the RGB zones and the light speed. However, you only have the preset color options available to you. Between both of the softwares, the only difference between them both is the fact that in the Mystic Light software, you can actually have a preview of the lighting effects before applying to the mouse. In my experience of using these two different MSI software, I found that you get a lot more customization and control with the MSI Gaming Center. So I gave the Clutch GM50 a lift-off distance test by using Blu-ray discs. I had put two of the discs on my mousepad with a gap in between them to allow for the sensor to still track. Firstly, I checked the LOD with my M65 Elite mouse and it seemed to track perfectly with using the two discs. But when I tried it in the exact same way with the GM50, with a lift-off distance setting of 2mm, it stopped tracking. Changing the setting to a 3mm LOD seemed to work with the one disc thickness, and then I tried it with a 2 disc thickness, and that didn't seem to work either. This is generally ideal, as realistically you only want to be registering movements when the mouse is flat. Therefore, the lower the LOD, the better it is for us gamers. Whilst using the mouse and messing around in Counter-Strike, I did feel that it was really accurate and it managed to register all the movements that I did make in-game correctly. I checked all of the default preset DPIs too, and had a look at the acceleration of the mouse, and to be honest it generally feels really really nice, and what you would expect out of a Pixar PMW 3330 optical sensor. So guys, during my time on using the MSI Clutch GM50 gaming mouse, I do definitely think that it was a very comfortable mouse. It looks really nice and just generally I didn't feel that at any point I had to overstretch my hand in order for it to kind of hold the mouse comfortably. It fit perfectly and I could tell that after hours of gameplay I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't have like a sore hand which is really good and like I said the, the mouse itself looks stunning it's got like this metallic-y black look to it and obviously it's got the three RGB zones as well which are customizable and I think that's always a benefit and feature is having the ability to customize a peripheral to how fits like to how it fits your personality on how your color schemes or your lighting effects or anything. I really do enjoy when peripherals give you that customization option. One little niggle about the mouse that I did definitely find um, a little bit frustrating. So whilst I was playing FPS games, I was playing Counter-Strike and I'd accidentally knocked the DPI button and I couldn't remember which DPI setting I had. So I had to click the DPI button load to try and hopefully figure out which DPI preset I had originally. And the reason that this niggled me is because it has no indicator on the actual mouse itself that shows you what type or what, what DPI option you have active. So like I said, once I'd accidentally hit the, uh, the DPI button, I had no idea 
how many times I had to click it or anything like that. I think if I was there sitting going, hmm, I need to click it three times or like continuously learn on which DPI preset is which, it would probably be okay. But generally the only way to figure this out is if you moved the mouse cursor across the screen and then you will figure it out. But I feel that this is a massive downside when you're playing FPS games because you don't have time nine times out of 10, to move the mouse loads, it would be nice to have an indication on what it is. But other than that, I feel that the mouse is definitely a good budget mouse option. So thank you so much guys for watching the review. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the Kit Guru channel, please make sure you do go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you so much guys. Have an awesome day and I'll see you for the next video.